Hi, it's Midnight Cry with Deborah, and this morning I was sitting out here in the beautiful Ozark Mountains, and just in the cool of the day, talking to the Lord. And I said, Father, give me a word for your people. <laughs> well, he all the time answers me when I pray that prayer. And he said to me, tell my people they have sat in the pew too long. I have a lot more to share, but I want to share some scriptures with you as a foundation for for what he's saying to us. I'm just going to read them quickly. I don't want to make this long. I have a lot of things to do today, as I know you do too. Acts, the 10th chapter, verse 42. And he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify, which is the word witness, to testify that it is he who was ordained by God to be the judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets witness. There's the word witness. And it's the exact same word in the Greek, testify and witness. That, okay, so, and to him, all the prophets witness that through his name, this is the prophets, through his name, whoever believes in him will receive remission of sins. While Peter, this is so awesome. Listen, 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 listen to this. Oh, hallelujah. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who heard the word. Now, I want you to remember that, okay? While he's speaking to them. Now, I've got to give you some other words, okay? In 1 Corinthians verse 14, a chapter 14, verse 5, I wish you all spoke with tongues, but even more that you prophesied, for he who prophesies is greater than he who speaks with tongues, unless he interprets that the church may receive edification. So the edification is to build up and make strong and to comfort and to exhort. And God wants all of his people to be able to do that. Now I'm going to go very quickly over to the book of Revelation. I'm just going to read these to you, and then I'm going to finish that prophetic word he gave me. In Revelation 12, then verse 10, then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come for the accuser of our brethren who accused them before our God day and night has been cast down. This is Christ's victory. The devil's already been cast down and they overcame him. You are predestined to overcome, church. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb. So that means you're not, your blood isn't worth anything, but his blood is. His blood is the pure sacrifice that was given for the cleansing of our sins and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony that's witness the word of their witness and they did not love their lives to the death you know they often leave that part out that is what a witness is is someone who loves God so much if it comes down to it they'll give their life for him they could no more deny him that they could deny their own self. They could not deny that he is their lover of their soul and he has cleansed them and they are on their way to heaven and they wouldn't give it up for anything. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you and all you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knows that he has a short time. I don't want to go further in that, but the devil is always angry. The devil always hates everybody in the whole earth. Remember that when you see someone that doesn't look like you or act like you or talk like you, who isn't a saint, who isn't a Christian, they're just a brother or a sister that hasn't been cleansed yet. See them that way. Listen to me. God is about to do some miraculous things. Okay, so uh, in the book of Revelation, the, let's see, the, 
19th chapter and the 10th verse. He's talking to the angel. The angel's been telling him many things. And he says, I fell down at his feet to worship him. But he said to me, see that you do not do that. I am your fellow servant and of your brethren who have the testimony, the witness the willing to die for the overcoming blood of the lamb, the witness of Jesus, the word of my testimony. Oh, glory to God. I hope you're getting this. I'm gonna, I got to read it again. He said, do not do that. In other words, don't worship angels. Okay. See that you do not do that. I am your fellow servant and of your brethren who have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. I, you can argue over the rest of it all you want. I, I, you know what? You'll find out that when you send me arguments in your post or your email or by a letter, you, you won't get much response out of me because I'm going to just tell you all right now, the people who want to argue cannot be convinced no matter what you do. And le even if you laid down your life for them, maybe they might be convinced like Paul who was once Saul and he was standing by when Stephen was being stoned and kept the coats of those people and he was in agreement with his stoning but later God revealed himself Jesus revealed himself Jesus is about to reveal himself to millions of people but you have a really big part in that so he said worship God for the testimony Listen, listen, listen. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. This is why you must get to the gathering up in Minnesota. Go to the nationsglorybarn.com. I'll put all the, uh, um, the way to register. It's free, of course. We, we don't charge people to come to the tent. They have a tent set up. It's going to be awesome. The anointing that's on me. Okay, I have another scripture to read to you real quickly. It's way Way back over there, there's scriptural precedence for what I'm going to share with you right now. Um, God told Moses, I want you to call 70 elders. You need some people to help you. Well, guess what? Jesus needs a whole lot of people to answer, to, to answer the call because he needs thousands upon thousands upon thousands of little nobody Christians who love him, who are sold out to him. He's going to heal your bodies. That's going to happen in this meeting. He's going to heal your bodies. He's going to deliver your minds from torment. He's going to deliver you from discouragement and depression. You're going to get a new lease on life. I'm telling you, God is going to do miraculous things in this upcoming meeting at the gathering in Waldorf, Minnesota. It's coming up on on July 21st through the 24th. And I'm not going to be the only one there. I'm speaking in the afternoons. And Brother Timothy Dixon's going to be there the first two nights. And the last two nights, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Johnson's going to be there. Can't wait to meet him. Can't wait to see my old friends, Timothy and Rose. But I'm just here to tell you, there is scriptural precedent for what I'm about to say. In Numbers, the 11th chapter, after God told Moses to do this, he said, then the Lord, in verse 25, then the Lord came down in the cloud. Uh, have you heard about the cloud lately? There's a lot of clouds about to show up in the midst of God's people. I've seen the glory cloud three times, and I'm about to start seeing it a lot. I'm speaking to this prophetically, okay? Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took of the spirit that was upon him and placed the same spirit upon the 70 elders. And it happened when the spirit rested upon them that they prophesied, although they never did so again. Well, shame on them because the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. And if you have the testimony of Jesus, then you already have the spirit of prophecy. But two men had remained in the camp. They didn't come to get the anointing. I'm telling you, the anointing is going to come on the camp. We're going to be in a tent, okay? And the name of the one was Eldad, and that means God has loved. And the name of the other was Medad, and that means loving affection. Wow. God has loved and loving affection. 
there's the root of how you're going to be able to walk in this kind of an anointing. It's going to be because you love God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your strength, and you love people. You look at them not on the outward appearance, but you look at their heart. God enables you to see their heart. Oh, I'm on fire this morning, y'all. And the Spirit rested upon them. Now they were among those listed, but who had not gone out to the tabernacle, yet they prophesied in the camp. Hallelujah. So I want to just share uh, this word that the Lord gave me. I think I've given you all the scriptures. Um, I think I have. If I haven't, well, that's okay. That's okay too. Um, yeah. So let me read this prophetic word, okay? So this is June 26th, 2023. Tell my people they have sat in the pew long enough. Those that are willing and obedient, I am, tra I am transforming into powerful last days witnesses. <laughs> As you go throughout every day, walking in my spirit, doors are going to open. I will bring people that I have prepared across your path. Some of you are already walking in this, but there's a greater anointing about to fall. As you tell them, what you have heard from me that I have revealed to you and seen in their hearts, they are going to melt and be softened by the word that you speak to them by my anointing. I am pouring out my spirit on you as never before, and you shall pour out my spirit on them, and they will be transformed before your very eyes. To your amazement, they will already be ready to receive me into their lives, to set them free and reveal myself to them and give them new lives and new starts. It is time to receive the power gifts I want you to have. They will enable you to overcome, even as I overcame, and sat down next to the Father you too are going to come into this place of authority. But even more, it is a place of rest. <laughs> there is no place like it. So prepare your hearts to believe that I am making you worthy to receive the fullness of my gift. You have often doubted and therefore could not walk in that place of power I have for you. I rebuke the spirit that lies to you and tells you you're not worthy right now. That's a lying demon from hell because you overcome him by the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony and loving Jesus to death. <laughs> He's already died so you can't love him. Him to death. You're loving to your death. Death to self. Listen. Be full and overflowing with me. You will suddenly have fullness of joy and peace you've never known. There are These are days I have longed for. Can you imagine Jesus having longings and desires toward us? He sold out to us, y'all. Absolutely. I have longed for a worldwide body getting prepared to show forth my glory to the nations. Yes, yes, you, my lovely servants, who are known by no one, are going to cover the earth with the anointing of my spirit, my power, my love, and my glory. Yes, I am coming. I am getting a people prepared to meet me. But first, you're going to know me here and now. You're going to be like me and walk in overcoming power. And you will be clean and pure and holy as I am holy. Rid yourself of everything that is impure, that has the stench of flesh, the pride of this life, or, life, or the lust for this world, and all that is part of the world system. I want to tell you. God is going to about to set his people on fire. You're going to know him in ways you have never known him before. God bless you. I love you today. Have a wonderful day in the Lord, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.